Another new feature in Nebulosity 3.3.1 and later is a new method of aligning and combining, or more particularly, a new method of trying to actually deal with things like hot pixels, cosmic rays, and other sources of noise in the image. So if we take a look at this, I've zoomed in nicely on a, uh, I've got a series up in the preview tool, and what you should be able to see as I step through these is that, while well, yes, these stars are actually going to be nice and stable, there are things like this hot pixel and this hot pixel and this one and this one that we can see move across the frames. Now, we'd like to be able to take these out of our images so that we don't end up with these adding into them. So in the past, we've had a number of ways of actually trying to get at this. In the align and combine uh, tool here, you can see that we have a number of standard deviation filters. And what these do is these try to look at how typical is a value for a given pixel when it looks across the stack. And things that are atypical, it tries to throw away. The problem with these is that it's often difficult to know, in particular if you have a good number of atypical pixels, for example, if you don't have very much motion across your frame, you still have a hot pixel right there, those may still end up coming through despite the standard deviation filtering. We now have a couple other new additions to the menu here. A median, filter, a median filter and a number of other percentile filters. Now a median filter is really called a 50th percentile filter. It's really the same thing. And the way to think about this is if you looked at any individual pixel in the image and you said across images Let's just take all of the values and let's sort them from the dimmest to the brightest. What you should have is if you're in a pixel over here that doesn't really have one of these hot pixels, everybody is all really around the same value. But if a hot pixel goes through, that's gonna be the brightest one. And if maybe you have two or three that have that hot pixel or that cosmic ray, or if you're trying to align on a comet, that star, you're gonna have a good number that are perhaps up in that upper range there. So what the 50th percentile does is it throws away everything in the top half and throws away everything in the bottom half except for that one middle value, and that's what a median is. The 40th to 60th percentile, again, just rank orders all of them, and anything that's not in that range of the 40th to the 60th, so if you had 10 of them, the bottom three would get chopped off and the top three would get chopped off, and you would just be left with those middle ones, and it would average just those. Let's see what happens when we do this here. Well, first, actually, let's do the average filter, and we can see the kinds of things that you're going to get on this. Let's just take these images here, this whole suite of them, and let's align them. And as you can see, they're moving through here. I'm going to cancel, not bother saving, and you can see we get these sort of dreaded lines. Now, however, if you do this and you say, okay, excuse me, now, however, if you do this and we do the align and combine images, we tell it none because this assumes you've already done the actual registration. Let's say pick 30 to 70 and we take those same frames and we say, OK, now what do we actually get once we've done them? Goes through it separately uh, to save memory for you here. It's separately running red and green and blue when it's collecting the statistics. You can see that now they're all gone. The background is nice and smooth and everything here as well. If we go and we say, okay, let's let a little bit more in here. Let's go say 10th to the 90th percentile. And grab those same images. Let it go and let it do its thing. It's loading up each of the images. It's doing all of the sorting, taking a look at each of the three color channels separately. Comes up here at the end with this. And you can see here, we still have a couple that have made it through because these hot pixels moved through slowly enough that there were still a few that actually managed to make it through that. So I would give you a range of different values that you can select on there. So if you're having problems with these coming through, just do a little bit more of a range. This is also why it's nice to go and actually do your alignment, saving each file separately, so you can try several of these to see what ends up working best. Overall, the more of your frames you can include, the better. And so try to have as broad a range as you can while still letting these things actually go away. But you can use whatever value you choose to come up with and make these things nicely disappear.